Hello people, this is P, and welcome to part 2 of my Alicia Dragoon playthrough. Now I did say that the last part was the first half, but uh, the final half took too long, so I just wanted to get like 30 plus minutes, so I just wanted to cut it, cut it down to stages 5 and 7. I leave the final stage and the ending for the uh, <coughs> final part, which lasts for about 11 minutes. This one lasts about 20 plus minutes, but anyway. So yeah, this is stage 5, we're in a cave, cave and um, there's some bats and stalact fallen stalactites. Uh, and we found a um, fun, secret thunder spell power up, level 6, yay, not bad. Uh, we don't need these power ups anymore because all my companions are at their max level good. So yeah, we need to uh, descend down here. Uh, you could go to the left to collect the invincible fairy power up, but not worth it. So I'll just uh, proceed forward and just bypass these eye things, eye monsters. You can't kill these monsters, but uh, you can um, make them disappear for a short while to get past them. So yeah, these rock enemies are a pain. If you destroy them, they uh, uh, shoot a last energy ball at you. Last ditch effort, you know. So uh, just be careful of that. And watch out for the stalactites. Stalactites, yeah. Yeah, the, this is where the Thunder Raven, well it's called Thunder Raven but it looks like a griffin to me. So yeah, the Thunder Raven's quite handy with, against these rock enemies, not so much with these little old flankers. Now the boomerang would come in handy here but I didn't use it so I'll have to make do. So yeah, we go up here to collect our next Thunder Power Up and uh, a fairy power up which we'll need in order to uh, Go further into the level. There we go, from the power up seven. We're at level seven now, so the enemies uh, be too much of a challenge. Well, be less of a challenge to kill now. So, so yeah, we get the platform ability like from uh, stage two. It makes an appearance again, stage five. So we just need to. Walk to the right, and the fairy should appear. Just where that we cannot, you know, jump to the you know, platform we can't just jump to. So yeah, uh, that's it for the first half of stage five. And the music changes for the second half of stage five. Uh, slight change of scenery here. Everything's hot. Everything's loud now. Dealt with war before, now we gotta deal with a uh, hot smoldering lava. Lava. So, uh, yeah, we gotta deal with these eye monsters again, but we gotta deal with uh, fire jets coming out of the lava. So, we've got time and jumps here. Boomerang lizards are. Boomerang lizards handy here, just to get rid of the eyes for me. Uh, you could get the power up just for that. Worth it unless you're desperate. So yeah, just up here. There. Now we can't get up there, so we need to find one of those fairy things again. More fun to make that one for us. Uh, there's a big uh, version of those little guys, but with the dragon companion, we can make quick work of them. So yeah, um, gotta deal with these little guys again, they're very annoying. So we go up here to get the uh, funny power up. A 
should have done is uh, made the dragon disappear and then make him reappear just to uh, counter strike these uh, big guys, but I didn't think that at the time. A bit foolish there. There's nothing here now. So yeah, we got all the. So we've got the Thunder Spout level 8. Now we can uh, just uh, concentrate on finishing the uh, stages as quickly as possible. Very uh, platform. Up there. And there's those boulder things again. Great. So, yeah, and we need to take care of these guys again. Boss fight. And we're gonna fire a tank. Whoopie do. Yeah, this boss takes quite a while to kill. Yeah, use the Thunder Raven, Griffin, or whatever the fuck it is. Quickly switch to the dragon, just shoot the, the brown core thing. Quickly switch back to nothing. The Raven again. Let me switch to the Dragon. Shoot that at the core. Now the tank boss will change its attack pattern. It won't shoot lasers, but it will shoot um, from its grenade launcher. Gas from the exhaust pipes. Yeah, we got to watch out of that. We've got to watch that. Um, sorry if I'm slow and I'm not really used to doing these commentaries. A bit of an amateur, but that will improve. I don't really care to be honest. Uh, I don't sound miserable. It's just how I normally sound. It's just like I can't really like be upbeat uh, naturally. It's just what you see is what you get with me. Obviously, I'll laugh when Zane takes part, but. I can't always take part in my problems all the time. He's got a life outside of YouTube. Whereas I got a bit more free time than he does. So, you know, I'm gonna do the video as we can. Jump over. And we beat it. Yay. Good round. Wait, now for stage 6, which is uh, slightly harder than the um, fifth stage. And we're going to explore some uh, wreckage spaceship. Okay, stage 6. Let's go. What makes this uh, level difficult are the robot enemies because they can ambush you and the uh, exploding canisters. So you need to be extra careful in this level because you die instantly. Best companion to use is the Thunder Raven because they can destroy these canisters with their flash moves. And the robots too. Let's 
yeah, just uh, take your time so I can uh, advise. There we go, got rid of most of these cairns. Oh, wait, there's one more to destroy before we proceed. Okay, got rid of all of them. So far, so good. Now we just proceed. Do we descend? Or do we go down? Uh, all the way back down. So we go down. Down to the belly of the beast. And we get um, power up. So, uh, or uh, under spell max for a short period of time so make good use of it. Get the hamsters and uh, yeah, we're up max health. And now we begin the second half of the stage six, which is shorter than the first uh, half. No more exploding canisters and robots. This time we got to deal with uh, zombies. Would be do. And then uh, brains. Be very careful here. Go in. Boss fight. And we get to fight a wizard. I believe this is an elevator, elevator source, I don't know. I think so. So yeah, he summons uh, two machine guns. Uh, you can destroy them using the Thunder Raven or the Boomerang Lizard. They will summon some more. The main target really is the wizard, so you can kill him as much as possible. <coughs> and watch his, uh, watch his attacks. Yeah, pretty much hope. Yeah, just use the dragon as you jump, and then you should do some, some damage if you tar target the dragon right. On target. Leading us to fun, well, stage seven. Not necessarily the final stage. Probably the final full stage. The next stage is more of a sequence of boss fights. Oh, look, ass shot. Typical Japanese pervs. I'm surprised she ain't wearing any trousers. Maybe they just want her to wear It's just a sex appeal, really. And this is the enemy stronghold, Bowder's Castle. On this spooky in the background. Yeah, this is the uh, final enemy stronghold, folks. Stop this fucker. <coughs> okay. Stage 7. Baldur's Castle. Yeah, the blobs from stage 1 return, but... 
they're a lot bigger this time, so that means they take quite a while to kill. So just use uh, Thunder Raven and the Boomerang Blizzard, respectively. Do a combo of both if you need to. You should make quick work of these guys then. Projectiles. Fuck's sake. I really hate it when I get hit. Oh, God damn it. So, yeah. Thunder Rays is hit. Or the Griffin. Oh, it's just cool. Oh, uh, there's the Boomerang Wizard. Okay, we got really slimes. Oh, oh we still got more to kill. We do. More to kill. It's the flash technique, and then ring wizard. There we go. That'll be it for the slimes. Now we need to fight these uh, spear guys from the uh, first stage. Oh, we need to kill them in order to proceed. So we've got to kill three of them. So one of them. One of them. And kill the second one. Oh no, we that's two down, one to go. Break some steps. Okay, boss fight. So yeah, we fight a bigger version of the stage six boss. It takes a while to kill. Oh, we fight clones of this six stage boss. Yeah, he's the main guy we need to be. Yeah, destroy two of these wizards and use the ball fire back to the shield and then quickly switch to the dragon. Let the dragon hit the main boss. And then quickly switch to the ball fire so that will take the bullet and then go to the other side. Die basically, quite boring um, tactic, but better than uh, rushing into the main and dying in the process. So, This will be the end of the boss right about now. Nope. Can I get hit? Shit. Alright, 
I get hit again, this is where I get hit. Okay. And the boss is dead, finally. But it's not over yet. Still got a bit more uh, of the level to explore. So yeah, we proceed up. Yeah, we fight a couple of wizard dudes here. That's where the dragon comes in handy. Ow. Wizard dudes, but luckily I killed them just before they can do any more damage to me. Okay, last challenge of the level, we need to do some platforming. Now we need to jump on the right platforms in order to uh, complete this level, but we got like uh, these fine obstacles in the way, so you need to be really careful. If you're a real pro at this, you'll manage to get through this unscathed, but if you're an amateur like I am, you're going to get damaged a bit. But yeah, jump uh, jump on these sequence of uh, platforms, and then jump down here, jump on the platform to the left, and there we go, level complete. Next up, final stage, thanks for watching.